Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Athena Lynn and I am so happy to have you. Before we get started, go ahead and leave me a comment down below of something good that happened to you this week. I want to hear about all of the positive things and if you are in need of some positivity, go ahead and leave me a comment about that too so that I and other people can send some positivity your way. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and we can get started. <music> Everybody, it is Tuesday. I still have not gotten my vlog up even though it's pretty late, um, but I did just start it today, so I'm pretty proud of myself for how far I've come. I am going to Lowe's to pick up some chicken wire, a couple of steaks, as well as a couple other things that I need for the garden, and I am also going to be picking up a couple of things uh, to do a couple other projects around the house that I just haven't had money for until now. As soon as my tire gets pumped, I will be on my way to Lowe's. Alright, my tire is pumped and we are good to go. have to know. I am on my way to Walmart to pick up a couple things that I could not find here and then we will be on our way back home. So life hack, if you have thinner fingernails like I do, uh, keep a guitar pick in your car. No matter if you play guitar or not, if you keep a guitar pick or even another like pop tab, what you can do, slide it under and lift it up until you hear the thing and then you've got that without having to hurt your fingernails or the your nail beds themselves so if you're like me and you can't open cans normally get a guitar pick and keep it in your car hello everyone i am in our truly terrifying garage and um i am actually staring at a gigantic black wasp right now um it's just setting on the window so i'm kind of hoping that it doesn't want to come up and sting me. I mean, I've been in here for a while and it hasn't, so I'm hoping that it stays that way. I am doing a lot of work on the garden today. The first thing that I want to do is make a pathway to the fire pit. I have pathway lights all ready to go. All I have to do is put them into the ground, so let's go do that. So my fire pit is over here on this side where you see this giant pile of tree branches. And over here on this side, underneath right here, is the end of the sidewalk that leads to the backyard. So my job is to make a cute little curved pathway with six path lights. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but I'm gonna try. So, let's go. you can see the little lamp posts are in. I am really happy with how they turned out. The pathway has a little bit of perf to it. I will be getting stone and I will be putting the stone in between the lights to make a little pathway eventually. So I'm really, really excited about that. It's not a project for right now, but it's a project for later. Um, it is getting to be dusk here. I need to go put some bug spray on. If you couldn't tell during the time lapse, I was smacking mosquitoes off me like crazy and they are really bad this year so I am going to go ahead and go grab some bug spray and then we'll move on to the next project. Okay, ready for the next project. I'm not sure which one I want to do first though. Yes I am. Okay. I do know what I want to do. Now that I should be mosquito free for a while, uh, I am going to take on the most ambitious project that I have, and that is putting chicken wire fencing up around the entire garden. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, so cross our fingers. Let's hope that this turns out okay. <laughs>
some of the fence. <laughs> we have like not quite half, it's about a third done. I'm gonna be attaching the chicken wire directly to the side of the pergola as well as directly to the side of the fence because there's not enough uh, chicken wire to go all the way around. I'm going to have to cut the chicken wire, attach it to the back fence, and then after that, uh, I will reattach it to the back corner here, run it along this fence, and then attach it to the gate. Shane's watching from the window. <laughs> I'm really excited to have at least this little part of it done and I'm going to come back to it tomorrow and finish it, but tonight is it's starting to get darker out and I don't want to be out here super, super late. I don't smell the greatest, so I'm going to go take a shower and we're going to have a relaxing night. So as most of you know, I am broke. I don't really make much money and I am always on a budget. I am always doing things on a budget. And I wanted to tell you guys the prices of the things that I've got, just in case you guys want to do anything similar. The little cracked bulbs that I got, uh, those were, I want to say $1.98, I believe, each. So a little less than $2 each. Um, the chicken wire fencing was $21. Uh, it was about 20, it was $20.88. The gate was $10, and the poles that connect the gate were $4 all combined. Um, it was $14 for that whole thing. And then the other green stakes that I am using to attach the chicken wire to in the corners, those were about $4 uh, from Lowe's. So this whole project cost me a little less than $50 for fencing as well as lighting to make a pathway. It's a good thing I always double check because I just found one of these little things out in the yard and I do not like to leave plastic in the yard at all. It's horrible for the environment, it does not break down, and if the lawnmower runs over it, all that it's going to do is put dents in the mower blades. So, glad I caught this. The bulbs are starting to light up a little bit, so we've got this one going. This one's getting there, not quite yet. Same thing with this one, and this one, and this one, but this one is glowing nicely. Good morning, everyone. Today has been so wonderful. It's actually not morning anymore. It's around noon. And yes, my hair is still in a towel. I normally wake up around 6.45 and I let Sachi outside and then I'll come back in. We'll play for a bit. You know, I'll get her ready for the day. I'm up from 6.45 in the morning until whenever. Last night, I was up until a little past 3 a.m. with terrible insomnia. I put my phone away. I tried falling asleep for like an hour and a half and I could not fall asleep. I probably fall asleep around 3.45 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And so with me having to get up at 6.45, that was not happening. So I didn't even hear my alarm, but apparently Shane got it. He turned it off. He saw that I was still sleeping. He let me sleep. He took Sachi outside and he did everything that I normally do in the mornings with her and with all the other animals because he knew that I just needed to continue sleeping. And when I told him this morning that, you know, I wasn't, I didn't get to sleep until like 3.45, almost four, probably, he was like, I knew that something was up. I knew that you needed to sleep some more. So I'm glad I let you sleep in. And I was like, yeah, me too. <laughs> Cause like, I would not have felt okay doing doing that stuff today. I'm gonna put my products in my hair real quick and then I am gonna get ready for the rest of the day. Well, I am not getting as much done today as I thought I would because we have maintenance people here to fix the sink as well as to try to run a water line uh, into our fridge. They're all outside right now. They have a lot of stuff to fix and I don't even know if they're gonna be able to do it today. So who knows if our water is even gonna to work today. I just got a text from the maintenance company saying that the guys would be coming back at 6.30 and that leaves me with about an hour and a half. All right, so the number one goal of today is to try to get as much of the fencing up as possible. I'm hoping to get it done today because that would be really, really nice and easy. I'm gonna to try to make sure that I don't sweat too much because I am not sure if I'm gonna be able to take a shower after this because the people who are working on my plumbing, um, I'm not sure if they're gonna finish everything that they need to do today. I mean, they should be able to. Before I get started with hammering in the other steak as well as wrapping the chicken wire around, I need 
to try to hammer in these posts here as much as possible, specifically because Sachi, my little puppy, she is so precious to me and I would never want her to get hurt on anything that is sticking out of the ground because they are very sharp and they are metal. Uh, this is definitely DIY. I did not look this up or anything, but I'm gonna just wet the ground down a lot right where the stakes are. I'm gonna use a substantial amount of water to, you know, try to get those stakes all the way into the ground. So. Let's experiment. That's about as good as it's gonna get because I need to hurry up and try to get the fence up. Having a little bit of water didn't really do much good. Um, I'm just gonna have to go back in with a mallet at some point and just hammer those babies in. But um, let's go ahead and get started on the fence. The mosquitoes are really starting to get to me. And so I am just gonna stop it for today. I think I just need to wait until Shane gets home with the bug spray and I can actually like put it inside and make sure that it stays inside. I can't work with a bunch of fucking mosquitoes so I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and just wait until the maintenance guys come and let's hope for the best. The maintenance guy is here and he is fixing the sink. I have been just relaxing watching Manifest. Um, I'm going to edit some of this vlog. Uh, right now Sachi and I are Outside, I have cheese in my hand. Oh, good girl. Very good sit. We are practicing our tricks. Sachi, come. Sachi, come. Very good. Very good. No. Sachi, come. There you go. Good. Very good. Sit. Sit. You see them? Sit. Good. Lay down. No. Sit. Oh, there you go. Yeah, lay down. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Thank you for watching. I love and appreciate every single one of you so much. Make sure you're subscribed and turn those notifications on so that you are notified every time a new video goes live. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Let me, let me turn my car lights on, actually. Okay. All right. People. All right, you can see the little lamp posts are. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Have these plant light, these pathway lights. Pathway lights. Why did I say plant? I'm gonna try my hardest to get as least sweaty, get as little. I don't fucking know how to word that. YouTube channel. My name is Athena. No, wrong. Run, run, run. <laughs>